Hello, Ada Believer here. You're on the Ada Believer channel. I'm Ada, and welcome. Welcome if you've never been here before, and welcome back if you've been here before. So glad you could catch my video. I have another song I'd like to share, and I'd like to set up a little uh, story about how I come by this, this song and what was stirring in my heart and things that were going on. It, this kind of goes back to 2012, way back then when we were in a strong presidential campaign time and we had uh, a Republican man running against the Democrat man, which was Barack Obama at the time, seeking his second term. He was the incumbent and uh, Mitt Romney was running against him. And, of course, we were all trying to be in pro-lifers and standing on Christian morals and, and what we believe the, that is God's will for man to live a righteous life. We were all trying to, to uh, back Mitt Romney and see that he got in the White House and turned our nation around a little bit. For the way it was going, I think most people could see where we were headed. And uh, I was sitting on the side of my bed. I I went in there for something, and my television was on in there. And I sit down there a second and was listening. And it was, of course, it was on politics because it was getting close to the close to the time of election. And I was seeing the stuff they were doing that were not really true and kind of underhanded and and I was watching some other news channels and thing and I, I just said out loud I said Lord they have the deck stacked they can't he can't win they've got the deck stacked against him and then I heard this voice right behind that and he said yes but I hold the trump card and I thought wow I just, and I knew the voice of God. I thought, I've heard from God. We got this. And I came back out here. We had been having a dinner together, my sister and my brother-in-law and my cousin. We were all out here. And I come in here. I said, we got this. I said, I said, I believe God just spoke to me. And I told him, I said, I was watching it. And I told God that the deck was stacked against him, that he couldn't win. And and he told me that he had the trump card. And I said, we got this. And uh, we, we was all praising and so glad I was especially. And the others were listening anyway. But come time that night, I mean, it went down to the long hours of the night to really, to really come out and say who had won that 2012 election. And it turned out to be Barack Obama. And I'll tell you, I was heartbroken. I cried, I think harder that night than I've cried in a long time about anything. And I, I, I was not only upset because we lost the election, that was bad enough. But what was really as upsetting to me is, I just was sure I heard vo the voice of God and was sure that we was going to win this election and so I was pretty devastated but you know, it was a pretty four miserable years after that and and it took a long time coming up coming up to 2016 for this other man to start running and a lot of people already had preconceived ideas about whether they liked or disliked the man and I didn't because I had never watched any of The Apprentice. I didn't know that much about Donald Trump. I knew he had something to do with uh, beauty contests and Miss America and different things. And, and he was wealthy, but I didn't really know anything about him. So when they was throwing all these course I so that we had a lot of long list of campaigners that was that seeking the presence in, in 2016 and I had some few choice ones and of course with the one that was really 
presenting uh, mostly, I thought, things that would be good moral issues for our country. And I, it took me a while to change over to Donald Trump. And it came down between the two, you know, Ted Cruz and, and Donald Trump. And I still, it took me a while to really decide that I, yes, I think Donald Trump is the man that God wants to run right now. And so another happening come along. I was watching TV and they was doing the same things. It was misleading, outright lies, and it was just stack, stack, stack things that was happening. That just like, there's no way he can win. There's no way. And I, I said it out loud again. I just, before I even thought, I'm like that. I'm passionate about stuff. And I said, they've stacked the deck again. And I heard that same sweet voice saying, and I hold the, and I hold the trump card. And boy, I just shook my head and I said, no, I heard that before. And then right behind that, I heard a voice. Now, these weren't audible voices. They were just very clear voices in my mind. I never told you when I would play it. And I, a glim of hope came into me and such a sweet spirit that I do know your voice, God. I, I really do know your voice. I just didn't know your timing. I, and that's a lot of where a lot of people get mixed up when hearing from God. They hear something, and because it don't happen in a certain lot of time that they think it ought to happen, well, no, no, no. And they lose their faith a lot of times. And they miss the will of God a lot of times. And I thought, I learned a little lesson there. And I'm not that I've got a down pat, but I did learn that God's timing has a lot to do with the will of God. Uh, it's like the prophesied Messiah. It couldn't come before time. It was in the allotted time when the fullness of time came. And his son was given, and that was Calvary, you know, and a, a son was born. That was, that was Bethlehem, and a son was given. That was Calvary. And you got to learn the timing of Jesus. And it may be a wait thing. Because in Isaiah it says, Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And I thought, you know, a lot of people faint in their faith because they have not discerned the timing of the Lord. And even Israel, it says, you didn't, Jesus told them, you didn't discern your time. And he turned to the Gentiles. Uh, anyway, God's, God's working in all this. And I believe right now that God is working in this. And it is up a lot of it to Christians. And, of course, His, his will is, is in this. That we pray and we, we have. Because it says in the... I don't know where I wrote it down. I looked it up and then I... Oh, here it is. It's Proverbs 14, 34. I can't remember where it was at. It said, Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So God wants people to live for Him and for that nation to be righteous. And for a lot of the teaching that I have been listening to, over in Daniel where it talks a lot, especially in, in chapter 7, where it talks about Daniel's dream and the four beasts that came up. One of those that, in, actually it's pretty <laughs> kind of funny how God would work, but in Daniel 7, 4, the eagle's wings was broke off of this lion. And where did our country come from? We come from a country, the mother country is Great Britain or England, and the Brits. We fought the Brits for our independence, but we were broke off of that and became a nation. And right now, the England is known as the bear is, is it the bear? <laughs> no, it's not the bear, that's Russia. The lion is its 
uh, represents that nation and the eagle represents our nation today we're on everything our coins a lot of them and our the seal the great seal and everything it has the eagle on it the American eagle and that's though that, that eagle was broke off in in Daniel 7 4 what was the date that we we end up gained our independence it was July the fourth the seventh month the fourth day we gained our independence and celebrate we still celebrate it today with fireworks and and celebrations a lot of people don't know what it is because they don't teach history in our in our classes like they used to back we were taught patriotism and respect and things are different nowadays and way different and we're fighting some pretty pretty unlawless spirits in our day but I I through all of that I feel like that God I'd like to say God has give us a time slot in which we possibly and I think not only possibly very likely that we could see Roe versus Wade overturned and go back to righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach to any people and go back to this, the, the seven things that God hates and one of them is the shedding of innocent blood I don't see how there could be any any battle over what would be right and wrong there and people I'm not trying to put people down that do that they are deceived and they're fighting for a cause and they thoroughly convinced their cause is right so women want to be considered equal and they want which is okay except in the home they're equal in a different way God exalts the woman in the home in a totally different way than he does out in the world the world exalts woman way different than the man does uh, or the, the God does so anyway I don't want to get into any of that and have a bunch of women write me <laughs> but I do think God has given us a time slot here that we take this election that we that we will see the turning overturning of Roe versus Wade I think that's why we have ungodly ideology rioting in our streets it's very organized very financially backed even pre-planned it's been setting up for a long time they just seize the moment actually they can even make moments happen for for a cause like uh, I believe it was Hillary Clinton Clinton said never waste a good crisis you know and they take what was a crisis or an event and they've blown it up and they've sucked in a lot of people that have been injured and hurt through different things and they've taken up this cause and they think the cause and some of it's in my family they think this cause is a very noble cause and it is long time coming but they don't see the ideology behind all of this and where it's really coming from it's a universal thing it's not just something that happened in the last 200 years in our United States this goes back to father Abraham Isaac and Ishmael this goes back all the way you could say all the way back to the garden but this is a long battle that's manifesting itself on our streets in writing and doing things so uh, it's not just not just over racism it's but that is the main push that they're pushing because a lot of people are willing to get on that bandwagon that they're going to fight against racism they're going to have equality well that's what we really most of us do want and uh, I'm going to walk with you over here and let my dog in I think I left him out so excuse me come with me nope he's not out here <laughs> oh he's down there he's wanting something to eat you can wait Richie anyway I want to share this song I don't know how to edit this yet and I I said I was going to learn how to do it and I have not yet so I'm going to just sit down here and pick try to pick back up where I left oh excuse me for that you naughty dog you're naughty you just wait a minute 
<laughs> anyway, the song I got, one day I was in this car driving, and I was waiting on, uh, I was actually in the taxi cab, and I was waiting on a customer to come out. And I was listening to Rush Limbaugh, and, and I was just thinking, Lord, this is a setup. It's it's just everything I see evil setting up to to try to t be this one world government and the new world order take over and and you know you can keep pretty thinking oh I don't know what we're going to do and then all of a sudden in the midst of feeling that overwhelming they got they're taking us down I feel this energized peace in my car and I'm thinking God we're not losing and then all of a sudden I just God says don't you see me working and I said yes I do see you working Lord so I started singing by the time the customer come out I had this song pretty down pat and I sang it to him and he liked it. He's, he requested it in the, since then for me to sing it. But here's the little song that I got while I was waiting. <clears throat> I see the hand of God working. I feel his presence in the air. Even though the enemy rages, the rock of ages, is timely working everything to his will and the child of god must not be lukewarm the double-minded man will fall as prey the enemy is broadcasting night and day the child of god must speak what god does say and i feel the hand of i see the hand of god working i feel his presence in the air even though the enemy rages the rock of ages is timely working everything to his will praise the lord that's telling me all this stuff's going on it doesn't take god by surprise he knows what's happening he's he's done seen it he knows all about it and all we got to do is keep the faith be strong and do exploits like it says back in there that in the last days the children of god will be strong and do exploits and they can only do that if they keep their faith full and be ready when he comes uh, I just want to share I know a lot of this sounds political but I, I, what really got me thinking about sharing this is I heard on YouTube a young man I've never heard I don't I don't know who he really is but Ben's I know I think the, the Eagle back over in Daniel represents our United States and that those are the four countries it's talking about the four nations about out of that's going to come a ten nation king that's going to be the beast but the Antichrist is going to come out of that but those nations are what he was talking about is going to be on the earth at the time of the second return so those are very relevant to what we're living today is Daniel 7 and I believe the eagle as I see it is going to assist Israel the great eagle is going to help fight when Russia comes down or those nations I think God calls it Rosh but it's Russia and Magog and all of them come down against Israel and join forces to fight against them that the United States is going to fight with Israel and fight for them. And that's another reason I feel like God appointed this man not to be our Sunday school teacher, not to be our spiritual head, but to lead a righteous people, to be governing the righteous people with righteous laws. So I'm very Trump 2020 
and I, I don't want to offend anybody, but I, there's a cause here. And I, I, politics is important. Jesus is coming. He's going to set up a government in, for a thousand years, and it's going to be a God-ruled government, and it's going to be peaceful and wonderful. So government is ordained by God. And Jesus is going to come and take the last thousand years and rule and reign there. And if we've made us ourselves available and repented and received his name and applied his blood to our life and we're full of his spirit, which is the spirit of truth, we're going to rule and reign with him as kings and priests. Now, that's another whole lesson that I can't, don't know all about, but I do know some about it. But anyway, just be ready be full of his spirit say prayed up and pray for our election pray for those that are riding in the streets that god just ask god to confuse the enemy confuse him and i just feel like haman built a gallows and he hung on it and i think a lot of that is getting ready to happen there's a lot of gallows being built that somebody's going to swing on and it's going to be a surprise to them so it's up to the so that if my people read Second Chronicles seven fourteen, you know it. If my people, which are called by my name, and I consider myself a, a people of the name, and I know you do too if you live for Jesus. So uh, let's pray. Pray that God would give us favor and and give us this help us to overturn this abortion law that's killing babies and. And bring to light the pedophiles that's hurting the children and stuff. And, oh God, give mercy with it, Lord. But give us justice and give me mercy because I deserve a, a, a dire penalty on me. Thank you for your blood, Lord, that, that released me from that. But I was going to tell you, and I got off on, I think with a dog, I heard a man on YouTube talking about... He felt like he had a dream from God. And I don't usually listen to all that, but something prompted me. Hear what this young man has to say. And he said, I had this dream about, I seen this. He said, it was in high HD vision. I seen this eagle soaring around. And he said, it was just picture perfect. And this beautiful eagle and flying and soaring in the sky. And I, he said, I felt this overwhelming peace and he said, then the next vision I saw is the eagle went over and landed on a, in a rocky cliff on the side of it and fluttered down on a nest. And he said, he looked down and there was three eggs in there. And he said, the eagle was hovering on it. And he said, all of a sudden the eagle went down and started cracking that egg and pulling out that baby, baby eaglet that was too soon for it to be pulled out. And it was just tearing it out of there, ripping it out. And he likened that to the mother killing her baby. And he said, America needs to repent. He doesn't, he doesn't, and he doesn't say, he wanted to be sure that God loved people that made mistakes and done things wrong. But he's, the space door is open. There's still a door open for repentance, for people to turn around and I'm guilty of, of a lot of things. Jesus hung on the cross for that. And he hung on the cross for those that have, that have sacrificed their babies for their life. And he can forgive that. He doesn't want just, he didn't come just to kill and destroy. That's the devil's business. He come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. So if you're, if you're in on that, you can, it's never too late to, to repent. It's never too late and God will not hold it against you. Apply that blood and you'll be covered and forgiven. He will redeem and ran ransom your soul right there on the spot. And the only thing he requires is turn and sin no more. So you don't want to repeat it. So if you're considering it or know somebody that is and you have a chance to put in a good word, we all know what our, our calling is. But I'm going to stop there. I pulled a whole bunch of stuff into this. And I think my video is getting way too long. It will take me forever to get it uploaded. I hope you watch it from beginning to end. And give me a chance to 
watch this and share it because I feel like share it with a believer, you know, because I don't want to, of course, I want God to send it to wherever it belongs. I don't know who needs to see it and, you know, so God do your work. Do your work. It's in your hands. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and share the video. And please, if you don't mind subscribing, you'll be notified. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when I'm on. And you might catch something that means something to you. And I, I plan on doing another video because I got some more songs. And I, I so appreciate you all watching. I'm going to get off of here before it gets too long to even upload. So y'all have a blessed, wonderful God day. Bye-bye.